Hello Austin. Hello Dampana. Hello Lunatics, Crowman. Hello Ranwin. Hello Mike. Hello Atomisia. Hello Cass. Hello Zio. Hello Bridge Burner. Hello Daniel. And the Watcher. Hopefully there's a shop because uh, I'm not too interested in taking remove one. So it's probably just 100 gold. 100 gold is like remove one may also comes with a potion and sometimes it, um, it's a strong relic instead. So we do that. That seems fairly clear. Is that we do, I mean, this shop or this shop, uh, depending on what happens. Maybe we go here and then fire into first elite. After this elite, we can reevaluate whether this portion or this portion is possible or not. If not, we take like fire into second elite. If it's only two fires, two elites, and 100 gold start is not really a high value act, but maybe that's fine. Maybe we can do burning elite, that would be quite good. But uh, the shop needs to be decent, the cast or the cast need to be decent. Oh, we need to not low roll here. I'm from YouTube. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hey, good luck. Yeah, hey, we take another gold. So I want to go to this node. I am not interested in advanced hallways. If we roll a 10% fight here, then we can go to this question mark and say the low roll chance of getting advanced hallway becomes 1% and then another maybe 20% or so. So 0.2. That will be a 0.2% and we, if we start here by this node, we get a destroy. And even then, we don't really die. Eh? So uh, that's probably okay. Taking this path immediately exposes the risk because the Neo Bonus is empty before we walk into the shop. So we have like every single base card, the eruption is not green, maybe we break potions, we have no Neo Bonus and suddenly here some uh, garbage advance always waiting. And then it's bad. For someone, then we go luck. So we start here, yeah? pretty, pretty clear to me. Call one first five, uh, not a good draw. Oh, into buff. Oh, if shuffle is bad, we actually get absolutely owned here. But uh, looks like this is okay. Next turn is guaranteed lead, so we can full block this. Next turn is 33 damage, you guys no block. 17 go. Rich Heaven over conclude seems clear. Rich Heaven is also an attack card that does not need an upgrade to function, but. Um, and it deals a lot of damage, right? it just needs the... It's a tiny bit slow. That's a tiny bit. This is plus 7 and this is plus 5 and this is garbage. Okay, it's not actually garbage, but uh, at the same time, I really want to be able to guarantee the option, eruption upgrade. And if we take the regret for nothing... I guess with the rich heaven, even with the regrets, I'm not so bad here, but it's suddenly I don't want to take the third hallway fight. And then we remove on watchers also worth quite a lot late game, yeah? It's not worth like amazing early game unless you see good cards, but if you see good cards on watcher you'll probably win. But it's uh, it's worth a lot late game. So the long term value of this relic is probably not even higher than the remove. And short term immediately introduce the risk, it's also minus five. Got started. And of course we take the cyber plus seven, yeah. This max HP does play as well sometimes. In deck four. If we don't see like a premium block plan, this absolutely can play. Okay, this fight should be zero, hopefully. Fortunately, that's one. Not lethal. We should PB 16, but that's like very beatable. With the win rate I have, uh, at some point it will be like quite big. If I keep playing at some point it will just be big, like just, just how math works. 16 is uh, probably the expected win streak when I play around 150 games or so. So a slight low roll I would say for the win rate of the last like 200 or something. 
That is not like a super, super major low roll. Yeah, taking one to Cultus after ending Rich Heaven is like quite sad. Eh? Especially after drawing Rich Heaven in turn 1 and playing it. So here, what do we have? Uh, still no potion anyway, yeah? Potion 60. Hello, Nitrous Oxide. We can take Bowling Bash, I can take Protect. Protect with the Rich Heaven, not exactly the mega combo. I mean, if they are drawn together, we are a little bit sad. We do have the Miracle though. And then, of course, we want to wait for like one or two turns until the two violence is drawn in hand and then everything is good. So, the Protect front load block is also something. But I think we just take the Bowling Bash because Rich Heaven. Yeah, Rich Heaven deals quite well with both the Knob and the Lago Bully, and then the Bowling Bash deals with the, the Sentries. And right now, maybe with the shop coming up with a decent amount of gold, we can like, just remove Defend and go a little bit extra. Um, Protect would play better here, but we have time to. You know, deal with the Guardian, probably. And we'll go, yes. Could have skipped as well, but I want to be able to do this part, I think. Uh, no reason to go here, yeah? So we take this fight, it's still easy hallway, 60% fortune chance, more go into the shop. Most likely, we take this shop over this shop. So potentially, we roll in fast hallway here. Um, be right before the elite, but at the same time, I don't think we care too much because we already spent our goal and we have the option upgrade right here. Protect this fight. It's too much HP, yeah? but maybe we do. It's gonna attack 8. I think I just actually strike here in an end turn. Uh, I guess it's fine. Minus one. But yeah, not drawing bowling bash or the vigilance here. Slightly set, but only slightly. It doesn't matter. It's only one. You know, one is not. One is fine. No potion. Oh, I really need to buy a pot, huh? Yeah? Uh, cut over protect. Yeah, sure. Cut was only excellent with the rich heaven. Because you can reach heaven and cut into the true violence immediately and your burst like insane. But I actually need to buy a potion, huh? Eh? One chance now is 70%. I am not interested at all in finding this advanced hallway to try to get a free potion. Because eruption is not green yet. We run into this fight, there's some garbage front load damage on turn one. And now eruption is too cost, we cannot kill. And suddenly we take like 20. Maybe 25, 30, but then everything sucks. Not do that. Uh, I see one strength on the Watcher character. I also see the Bear of Mambos, which is quite good. We can also do this. <laughs> the Fasting Pale is an upgrade eruption, and then we um, have like, 3 strength, 3 dex. That is not giving me with a potion, no? but we do have the Bowling Mask against Sentries, against Lagovlin. Fasting can always be set up. And against the uh, Nob. Yeah, against the knock, we have a ton of damage. So it is possible to just take the Fasting Palace thing. Secure a little bit of scaling, but I don't even know. Like, what does that do really? Is it giving me 3 decks, right? The main thing is I'm giving it 3 decks. The 3 strength in here with the energy cost and also the cost of the pellets is the... Um, and we don't get the strength until I draw into this. Yeah? And also, I need to spend my entire turn to prop this. But yeah, this costs 2 energy and I need to play a skill so I don't even get the strength payoff. On the other hand, I can just buy one string. Like, what about that? What about just one string? 14 effect runs in a row is insane. Yeah, I have done that three times. Which actually annoys me a little bit because uh, those tricks would have gone like, a lot further, but uh, somehow they always end at 14. <laughs> three of them, yeah, all ended at 14. Oh yeah, like one strike on the Watcher character and we can combo that with the Vazra. And for, uh, we, with the Empty Fist. But if we do this, we cannot really buy... Can we buy something else? I am fasting Palace Interaction with Watcher. Yeah, the actual strong one. The, the other use is the actual strong one. It's absolutely broken. It's a duality. <laughs> but of course, that's, the, that's an uncommon relic. Uh, 
Okay, Vazra MTP is on sale 196. Potions are expensive though, but if we buy this and this, maybe I don't need pot. The pot would be the stand spot, yeah. Yeah, 196, so we are left with 54 only. 54 cannot even buy this, but I can buy empty body. And maybe I don't actually mind empty body too much. Ah, with empty fist to the deck is a little bit weird though. It's just that the empty body makes the guardian fight a lot easier. And you info for Spy 2. I haven't paid a lot of attention either. Like before before it's actually close to release, I don't honestly I don't really care. <laughs> But yeah, Vazra Empty Fist, no potion, and maybe I can buy Empty Body, but I don't think so. Upgrade Eruption, depending on how this fight goes, we... We have already the pathing. Uh, how is the lack of bullying actually? Wait. Yeah, the Norm we can probably burst. The Sentries, you can probably also kind of burst. Like Bowling Bash, kill one, and reach heaven, kill the, another one. And then the last one, maybe we can just attack. With one strength. But the uh, Lagavulin, if the Lagavulin does not die instantly, yeah? We take quite a bit. That's why two run on stream, most definitely not. But I will... If uh, nothing bad happens, I probably will play it fairly early on, yeah, on stream. Ah. <sighs> Ah, sure. I mean, this is definitely better than a remove. This is better than this, but uh, this is also temporary only. Honestly, I think I just buy two exits. I would prefer to buy the Tranquility over this, but we don't have enough gold. We are two gold short. But if I buy this, I can still buy this. And then it makes the both the Lagavulin fight and the Guardian fight a lot more tolerable. And the marbles for Watcher, sure. I mean, this is also strong, yeah? but uh, you need to actually draw things on turn 1. And maybe you need to play around your setup. Um, if your deck has a lot of setup, then maybe it's a, lot, a bit, little bit weaker. It's stronger turn 1 burst for sure. Like, of course, this is much stronger than this on turn 1. But, you know, if you end, don't end the fight on turn 1, then this gives you like, not much more. I don't know, of course it's bored. I'm just thinking whether I buy this or not. That's the only thing I'm thinking about right now, like whether we buy this or not. And I think the answer is actually yes. Yeah, I think the answer is actually yes. No potion, I just... Uh... Yeah, eruption upgrades, clear. Okay, potion event, easy. I mean, that's kind of like a potion event. <laughs> well, um, this, this empty body here can block this, four. Uh, I can cut, but I don't need to actually play Rich Heaven, so I can cut this first to see. Okay, Bowling Bash, good. Oh, Bowling Bash is not as good though, because with the Vazra and the Bowling Bash, kill this with 16, and then we take 2 damage. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. I just cut through this, right? It's like 16, uh, taking 2 is unacceptable, no? I don't want to take 2. Let's not take 2 damage. We can bowling bash this, but then next turn this thing is a little bit annoying. Maybe actually, wait, wait, wait. So I bowling bash this. And then we empty body. And then a miracle empty fist here. Next turn strike will kill this. And if we draw eruption, we kill this. If we draw 2 more strike, we kill this. If we draw 2 defend, we full block. And sometimes it buffs. No, that's good, no? That's good, no? Actually, just leave this draw power in here. And then we bowling bust this guy, and then anti fist this guy. And with the Vazra, everything's perfect. Yeah, that's good, no? We can anti fist this guy as well, but uh, that actually is a lot riskier. Because if I anti fist here, we know the strike is lethal here next turn, yeah? And yeah, sometimes this guy doesn't even attack. If he attacks, we would have two defense or two strike. Either way, lethal or full block. So we take zero here, guaranteed. Next guy is Guardian. Potion? No potion! 80% now. With the Meditate, we take. For sure. 
But uh, yeah, eighty percent. Yeah? So now we get potion every single fight here. Of course, we fight the elite. Okay, meditate like a woolen. So is this early making Laga and Guardian fight a lot e easier downside that later? I mean, if you pick two empty fish, then of course it's like a little bit bad. But uh, two empty mines, you actually can click. Empty body early game is just a lot of front loot block. Because it, it exits, you either give your energy from calm to block more, yeah? or you know, it blocks like, half the incoming damage with exit wrath. That's uh, fine. And empty fish early game, just good damage. Like, all, all three are pretty okay cuts. Empty my strongest later by far, but empty fist early games very good, and empty body early games also not bad. Uh, playing reach heaven now and then meditate it back is maybe taking damage, but we do have a lot of block in here with like axes as well to gain energy, and if we draw some eruption, we can even burst it immediately too. Because if we do not play this reach heaven, yeah, like our damage output in this fight is it okay or not? Because we probably would still need to block at least one turn. And then sure, okay, enter calm, meditate, we enter calm, like, probably play bowling bash into meditate. And next turn, sometime we draw eruption, then we can go in. The problem with going in like that is that our damage is still not uh, in the clear. Yeah, our damage output is still very much not in the clear. And then suddenly we don't have uh, one turn of block would be blind. I mean, one turn block here is like almost blind, but if we take damage one turn in turn after we always full block, we like this much block in here. And sometimes we can kill as well, but this is 42 damage being shuffled in. Maybe we can even shuffle in like 80 something damage. Yeah. Let's open now, right? Reach Heaven, meditate. Cut. Okay, triple defense, no one. Ah, uh, yeah, triple defense. We just block again next turn, most likely. Oh, come on. Now we take 12, unfortunately. Otherwise, antibody plus 7 again, but we break. <laughs> well, what can you do, right? Almost lethal, but almost is not quite, so we take 12. Now, yeah, of course, we kill this turn. There's no zero break. No potion! 90%. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, does this suddenly tell me that I cannot go here or what? What the hell? Ah, uh, it was the, the plan, yeah? Was that uh, here I get a potion, maybe I get a relic that does something, and suddenly I walk into this and there's no problem whatsoever, even advance always. But now at 90% potion chance, I'm a little bit scared because we can literally walk into this fight. Even if it's an okay north fight, we take like 16. And suddenly now we are on 29 and then okay sure one potion but what? And sentry sometimes you draw eruption late, sometimes your meditate is drawn badly and then you take the chip and suddenly you have a risk of death immediately. So do we actually have to dodge an elite and also miss the burning because of this uh, garbage? Yeah, yeah, it's not like going right is easier. Going right you can still have the same risk of death. If you go here you are safe. The problem is that I... If we want to be absolutely safe, I actually need to rest here. Because here, yeah, no potion against a freaking advanced hallway. You know, somehow. It's really a mystery, eh? I mean, rest at least gives us an insurance against the Guardian. If we rest here... And we cannot upgrade here, yeah, somehow. Like, like, we rest here and then we have too low HP to upgrade here. It means that if we don't rest, we probably die. So, I don't even mind resting here. If we need to rest again, so be it. And then actually, we have like, a shop to cash in. And burning now, absolutely not if there's a chance of death, and right now there is a chance of death. Because, yeah, the relic does not play. Relic, uh, this relic is good, yeah, but it does nothing right now. And then we have no potion to build up, so I have no information whatsoever. Like, what, what could happen in these nodes? Uh, of course we can, oh, yeah, you're talking about this, like, fire into this burning lid. Yeah, probably can do that. Most likely, yes. If something terrible happens here, we go here, but otherwise yeah, we collect on potion number one, potion number two, and then we throw some potions here and probably don't take damage. But I think we, uh, yeah, I think I'm resting, unfortunately. Don't need these, right? Bowling bass already, so don't need consecrate. Uh, Rich Haven already, so don't need the card reality. Also, one strength bass, right? Don't need that. Wow, we are in such a big upgrade depth right now. I mean, such a big one is uh, probably in. 
a little bit of an exaggeration. They only made it here. The empty phase away is not super necessary. We already have something like this. Oh yeah, I'll just skip this, yeah? So here, I well, he would red leg and then maybe you don't need to rest, but I don't know. Oh, that's not a relic that says that we take no damage to these fights, so I'm, I'm resting. <laughs> is only attacks worth the elite? I mean, most of the time elite is like, Norm is 16 if we draw not amazing. If we draw amazing, Norm is 0. But usually Norm is 16. Actually, maybe with the meditate it can be less. But I just expect 16 against Norm, and then against the sentries, yeah, maybe some 15 or something, like 5 and 10. Oh, Exodium Tax, well, if they hit me for 26 on turn 1, then surely they do more damage than that. Oh yeah, I go here and rest. Oh, and chance 90, yeah? Technically speaking, we still have a 10% to not get a potion here, but we always would get a potion by this point. Ah, empty body is here. And uh, it's doing great. Seven this. Empty body, meditate, empty body, yeah? Okay, that's fine. Okay, potion. What? Okay, that's one of 1,400, by the way, yeah? If you guys are wondering. <laughs> that's about one of 1,000, um, one over 1,400, that you get no potion in six fights. I know, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, this I will draw a potion. Guys, 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 this I cannot fail to draw a potion. That's literally impossible. So, uh, we want to here, collect a freaking potion, and then fight Burning Elite. <laughs> and yes, this is the second time this has happened on stream. Uh, not on this stream. The first time was a uh, complete garbage silent run, like, two years ago or something. This run is a little bit better than that for now. Because, uh, you know, this character is stronger. I'm also better at the game, but... <laughs> it's kind of annoying. No, 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 smoke bomb is fine. Smoke bomb is fine. I don't actually mind smoke bomb. Smoke bomb, this character is fine. Don't give me, like, snake oil or something. And then we are, like, we are good. Uh, within the piece, I think leaving Mirko is good. So just empty body. Ooh. It's kind of annoying, but I guess it's fine. Meditate back the empty body and just block next turn then. And then we have the the thing. Yeah, we have this thing. Guaranteed lethal. And no matter how hard this guy tries, he must draw a potion, yeah? Wow. Wow, we waited for the entire act for this potion, guys. Amazing. Uh, Flurry is the best, uh, one of the best damage cut possible to see in this part. I mean, tension is better, but Flurry is definitely up there. We can take the Sanity at the same time with the Meditate Antibody and in the piece added. I don't think we need to respect Guardian, especially when our HP is this high. The 80? No, it's 90 right now. It literally was 100 the floor before, and now it drops on potions, so now it goes back to 90%. Burning Tech Flurry? I mean, if it's Sentries, then it's maybe stronger, yeah? This is better against Norm, but even that is like slightly debatable. But I mean, it's good. Max SP Sentries, though. Good thing we have the freaking Bowling Bash. Uh, cannot really play this Rich Heaven, also, I don't need to. Oh, Bowling Bash. Uh, Bowling Mars dealing 24, 48 with the uh, thing. Okay, so I can skip Flurry here, maybe. Uh, sometimes we waste 5 damage, but I don't actually mind too much. If it's like this, we can kill 2, right? This is, um, yeah, 48. Yeah, look at this. Bowling Bash they completely deals with this fight. And here 14 exactly to it, one strike and we can flurry middle. And this turn is fairly simple. We have 
vigilance into flurry into empty fist into flurry into whatever <laughs> you know so come over damage because it's two damage less and then it opens the next inner piece sure Hang on, this fight is like, how much damage do we take? Uh, I shouldn't cow my chickens before they hatch because the fight is not over yet. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't enter wrath, right? I don't enter wrath. Sometimes I take 10 next turn, but uh, taking 10 is better than taking 20. Even though the chance to take 20 is a lot lower if I play eruption. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I take 3 damage to because I did not play the eruption, but that, that's okay. I take that. <laughs> I do not mind. What? Guys, opponent chance is once again 100%. In case you're wondering. <laughs> the relic is good. So our deck is good, yeah? The relic bar is good and our deck is good, but like, what the hell is going on with our potions? Okay, this I will draw a potion though. I think we just go here and collect a potion. Because the gambling chief also says that whole way fight is probably not a huge issue. <laughs> oh, man. In one night, yeah, yeah, it's like 100 and 19 and 100 again, you know. It's like we fail another 10% check. Uh, okay, we, we successfully got another 10% check. And with the sub to it and uh, the 19 month special log. How is Tranquility? Not amazing, right? We have too much calm. And the uh, Meditate is doing the Tranquility's job, basically. Um, second Flurry is pretty cool. Not amazing in the Guardian 5, but we respect Guardian. Right? We are like high HP as hell with Meditate Plus. Second Flurry with the Gambling Chip probably says that yeah, our damage and the Vazra yeah, probably says our damage, but the rest of the run is like completely solved. But uh, block engine is still no way to be found if we don't have like some mental fortress or talk to the hand to play flurries in like the hard fight or something and maybe later on, way later on we have problems. But right now it's like quite strong. This relic is a pretty early game, yeah? This relic is late game, this relic is everywhere. This relic is unknown and this relic is uh, not that useful for Watcher to be honest. We already have both solution with bowling bars and one flurry, so second flurry is not doing much there. Second flurry right now is to hash for the case where we break on energy relic basically. If we break on the energy relic, yeah, I would absolutely love to second flurry right here. And it's kind of possible. I mean, choker we already don't pick with this deck. Um, fusion hammer is slightly dangerous from this position, unless we see a like, freaking lesson learned in this three, but you know. We don't count, uh, we, we don't care about that scenario. Idle Stone... Tiny bit fishy when the deck does not block... Uh, besides some like, mediocre, you know, 7 energy, maybe 2 energy block 8. Hello, VM. One out of uh, 10,000... Potion chance 100%. Potion chance to 100% in the first place, one out of like 1,400. Also, uh, exact chance is like what? Um, 0.72 Yeah, 0 0.072 um, There's 0.072% uh, for the 100% in the first place and then you do that by 10, yeah, around 1 of uh, 14,000 so For this to happen which is fair because it's the first time I have seen this happen to me and this is a... Uh, I mean I have like 7,700 uh, hours in this game <laughs> so it's pretty fair that something like that, that one out of uh, 10, 14,000 <laughs> but yeah, second flurry I don't mind um, it would be bad if we have the only way where this second flurry is uh, not amazing, yeah? Okay, I shouldn't say not amazing, but not that good. Would be when we get pyramid, but then we have freaking pyramid. So do I care or not? Yeah, I don't care. Psychology is my favorite thing? No, I'm stressed as hell. 
I'm telling you right now, like this is uh, at least during the last month, yeah, I'm feeling the most stressed I have ever been playing Spire. I'm also playing the best I have ever been. But I'm extremely stressed out because every single run I, I prepare a lot and then uh, I still have doubt like, when I start the run. Whether something would go wrong or not. <laughs> because I care about every single one of them. And then I need to prepare for like four characters at, uh, almost at the same time. Oh yeah, we take this fight. Yeah, point James 100. And yeah, with the gambling chip as well, the double flurry is like pretty cool. Uh, they're both dead or what? I think they're both dead. Double flurry getting back will be 20. So yeah, they are like super omega dead. Actually, wait, I'm dumb. Wait, what? What am I doing? <laughs> ah, wrong, wrong places, wrong places. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, then you, I do some nonsense like that and lose 8 HP yeah, for no reason. So that's minus 2. I don't think this will affect us in the Guardian fight, but this is minus 2 into Act 2. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't die by 2 HP. I mean, uh, too late now. Like, just have to deal with it. Ow, I'm not potioning. But this potion is for the Guardian, maybe. Fear potion is for Act 2. Thought I attack. It's not I would actually just take. We are not picking a weave right now, but uh, I don't mind another thing just to block a little bit against Guardian. And Third Eye with double flurry also is a small combo. Something I thought I is pretty cool, eh? because um, it combos with the weave, yeah, but it also combos with the flurry at the same time. Because you know you strike away these and you swap stands and they pull that they, they get pulled back immediately. Pretty good. And uh, another thing is our deck has like, all defense right here, so a little bit more front load block until the double flurry kills the, the fight. It's pretty cool. I'm going to meditate, it's clear. Yeah, I'm going to change back to 90. I'm going to spend weak point on this fight if needed. I'll do this first. Okay, we meditate. Back to. Okay, meditate back card. We can never fail this read next turn. I don't know whether I should do Rich Heaven or not, but maybe. Uh, energy is at five. Could be six, but saving is better. Do not need to re enter card. Yeah? So I exit with Empty Fist. So this is one, two, three with the Rich Heaven, four with the card. Five with the thing, okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Lokuro. Uh, you missed the uh, double 100% potion chance in this act. I took six fights, no potion. The next fight, I draw a potion, yeah, and then potion chance 90%, and I took the next fight, it doesn't draw a potion. <laughs> so I went to 100% twice in this act. Uh, this is a lot of damage. Like, a lot. <laughs> Maybe... Nah, I still don't want to... We break one card here though, but the most I take like a little bit, yeah? It's not even that much damage, even if uh, I take damage. And we deal like, so much already. Like, yeah, here, like, how bad is it? We pardon immediately, because... Uh, the next time he does it, he probably is going to die. Also, he has 10% to get the third time 100% potion chance. I hope it doesn't happen, because I would like two potions entering Act 2. <laughs> but it can. We have a 10% to roll this right now. No wrath, huh? No wrath. Uh, just eruption in the piece here is probably good. No wrath for the next split, but we also have taunts and this in hand, so it's probably fine. And the weak pot plays full, you can see it here. Yeah, the weak pot plays full. We can wait one turn or we can split immediately. I think I wait. Uh, cut next turn is pretty good. I playing Rich Heaven now speed immediately so probably should have counted that because I would like to play the Rich Heaven. 
But it's fine. We just play strike here and turn. Can never fail to split this turn, yeah? But I would like to draw into like maybe eruption. Okay. We already exit, so draw keep drawing to get into the meditate. And yes, I deal this damage right now because it's dead soon. Uh, probably can kill next turn, yeah, maybe with antibody energy into rich heaven bowling bash, for example. Could do it. Take five more. It's fine. Okay, fine. We take four more. Ah, uh, now it's dead, yeah. Okay, potion, please. Thank you. The scroll cut over complete garbage and complete garbage. Yeah, thank you. We're okay, fine with the sea pyramid. And if we see pyramid, then these cards become a little bit worse, just a tiny bit. But it also means that we're playing on two energies, or maybe they're not that bad. On the other hand, there's the Reaper. By the way, Swappers win again. You swap to Pyramid and now you pick the Reaper. Um, copy the Reaper. Pretty cool with the Gambling Chip and the Scroll. And we can use energy to deal damage. But at the same time, we also have like, excess carbon here to generate energy with the Pyramid. And the fact that we only have one eruption in here to enter Wrath yeah, means that Copy Dripper sometimes leads us into some very awkward fight. Where you draw your eruption in turn 1. You cannot play it because there's no lethal. And then the meditate is drawn late, and then suddenly uh, you have no damage by uh, even a like, turn 4. On the other hand, with the pyramid, we always have some damage by like the moment you draw into eruption, we probably have damage. And also, it's freaking pyramid and watch your like, come on, guys. <laughs> So I spill away 2 HP, yeah? Entering this, like, I should have 65 right now. I hope that it doesn't matter. Kind of annoying path, but uh, it can also be a very strong path if we can do, like, this portion. If I go to this one, we have to play safe. I guess it's still 2 elite. It's elite number 1 here, elite number 2 here, and we have second fire until second shot. Not going to this shop is freaking criminal, yeah? So probably just, just do that. If we roll a shop here 3%, then we can go this way. One advanced hallway here, gambling chief, hopefully it's fine. If we need to rest every fire, so be it, I rest every fire. Going this way to hope to do this elite and then this elite and then here is a little bit of hopium. This elite first, you do three elites and then you go here. Yeah, a bit hopium. Also every shot we go into is another like one of seven to see mental fortress. No avocado. Uh, willing to use this if needed. Do I get more? Also, this inner piece, I don't think so. That is actually good to have, I think. So I can potion for 4 here. Yeah, I don't mind. 40% potion get back, and then if we need to, we can buy a new potion here. We have like 540 go. Like 5. Yeah, in turn. Ow. Let's go in. Uh, if antibody is actually okay to take here. Because we meditate back the... And yeah, you see here, 7 and 5, and then we'll play it, we take 0. Also, it's freaking dead. <laughs> so then we need to meditate. The question though, it would be nice if we had the Dripper. With the Pyramid, uh, it's not nearly as good. On the other hand, here's a Foresight to go with all base cards and the Flurries. It feels like a win already. Yes, yes, yes. Here they are. Like, here comes the first uh, person to score you the win. <laughs> we just got into Act 2, yeah? The first fight, I used one potion, we took 5 damage. But uh, yes, it's already a win. Like why, why not just say like the moment I click Watcher, it already feels like a win already because the chance to do so is more than 95%. <laughs> so why wait until now? Um, this foresight does have a small problem is that if you cannot find node block, 
It's like the, the turn when you draw the four side, you take a little bit extra cheap damage. And right now this deck can... This deck doesn't need the four side effect so much because it's freaking pyramid. And game link chip. And on the same turn, basically our front load blocks is lacking. Yeah, plain and simple, our front load blocks is lacking. After we draw into our thing, we burst instantly, you can see Avocado right there dies in one turn. This is not good enough, right? Yeah, I don't think so. And this is just not good enough. Uh, no relic support to block either. If we have some anchor, maybe some concrete even, then the foresight gets a little bit stronger. Maybe a vault even. And right now there's no nothing to help us block on the turn where we play the foresight. Lose gambling chip for watch a rare card. Lose Vajra for watch a rare card. Wow. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second, we have two flurries, guys. Which one do we buy? <laughs> we are buying one of these, I'm telling you. We are definitely buying one of these, but which one? Because uh, if we say that we have no scaling block, then here's a freaking kunai. On the other hand, Shuriken on Watcher is... You know, Shuriken on Watcher. <laughs> Normally, if this is not Watcher, it's extremely clear you just buy the kunai over the Shuriken. But uh, Shuriken on Watcher is like, a little bit stupid. Shuriken on Watcher is pretty freaking stupid. And um, I don't know whether you see the vision or not, but I do. Now, if we buy a Shuriken, do we run into a situation where I cannot really block late game or not? Because it's not like we can so freely stack Kunai in the hard fight with the Flurry. Right? Let me see, talk to the hand. So, using Kunai as blocking plan way down the line is uh, also not so easy. And maybe sure we can peer me, we can just like kill the heart or something. Shuriken is definitely stronger right now, like by quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to block with the dead, and this stays for a very long time, even in spear and shield. It's when we walk into the hard fight that this no longer applies, but it can still apply to a degree. It's just that like you do, you must block like at least one cycle against that fight. But we have like time, right? We have time, we have free pathing, we have the pyramid. I'm just sorry, you say Kunai doesn't solve it or what? Okay, fine. But uh, guys, uh, if you have watched like, me play Watcher long enough, you know what I buy here. So uh, what do you think I buy here? This is trash now, right? Actually, the rich heaven. What does this do? It's goes on strike, no? Strike proc Shuriken. Cost 1 energy. Deals more front load damage uh, per energy ratio. We don't have to draw to immediately draw into the, the thing. Our damage is like freaking to the roof here with the flurries. So this rich heaven is a... Like, is it worse than, than these now? Unless you tell me it's still defend. It's probably still defend. <laughs> okay, but if you watch me play long, watch it long enough, you know what I buy here, yeah? Yeah, good talk. And now we run to elites because we cannot die. Yeah, now suddenly we can walk into every single elite here and there's nothing wrong that can happen. Um, what's this? I don't even want to play this Rich Heaven, really. I want to draw into my Eruption, my Flurries, and their old death. I don't even want this. Yeah, like this, yeah? Now, wow, Shuriken is pretty good. <laughs> ah. The Trash Whip. Upgraded, though. This gives us a way to block the first cycle of the heart immediately. Right, you play you play this, you have like max HP entering the fight and maybe you have like one potion or just a, a decent blocker, like even a spirit shield. Like some spirit shield, some hall to... And then you block like one cycle and then the heart is dead. Yeah, yeah, the trash whip when it's green is maybe not that trash because we want to play attacks every... We, we just want to play attacks every single turn anyway right, with the shuriken and the flurries. So this will just prop. And we have Pyramid, so it will also will hit. It doesn't miss. Yeah, I'm going to attack, right? I'm going to attack. 
I don't want to upgrade scroll, but that's minus one elite, and we already have the smoke bomb. So let's just go here. Yeah? One chance right now is um, sixty. A cleric, okay, sure. Uh, that's say like that this shot is probably not happening, but I also don't care. We know that kunai will not happen. We also know that palace will not happen for the duality potential, but duality is still around with the flurries, honestly. Now, seriously, I just want to remove this freaking rich heaven from my deck. Like, at some point, we'll have to go. Eh? So, like, is it now or not? Tossing every single defend without a scroll plus, we have the fear pod. Ah, it's just one more defend. In the champ, we just uh, we just hit here the champ like four turns or something and it dies. So we don't need block. Okay, if leader does not attack on turn one, which she doesn't seem to be doing, and maybe maybe she's dead, but only maybe. So what's the turn here? Flurry is fifteen. So like flurry eruption it's 12 and there's 11 it's like pretty awkward because cut here is perfect but then we don't really have anything that kills it clean i guess we waste a bit of damage here then but yeah that's fine sometimes we have the bowling bash from the cut I guess you can eruption here, but the bowling bus is weak to every draw into it right now. You still waste. I just waste 4 damage. If you play this right now, you waste 2 damage. If you play Flurry, you waste 4, so you gain 2. Nah, 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 nah. Last whip. Uh, we can actually do 24, and then we can draw into exit block if needed. Okay, that's fine. We can get the uh, shuriken right now, but I think we just wait because sometimes we need to scroll on to block next time she attacks. Okay, if she doesn't attack, then she's dead. If she, if she does not attack, she's simply just dead. Oh, uh, yeah, let's try into this a double flurry and then meditate back the eruption. And next time we have eruption bowling bash and she's like, done for. Yeah, nice try. And I toss away fear pot here, I don't mind. Tiny chest, wow. Going to change 70%, yeah, by the way. Ah, it's green, but it's not good. Ah, now I want to remove this and add the green one. <laughs> is it not good if I play it, just killing? Like, is, is this so bad? If I play it, actually just killing. It will not be a good draw in the hard fight unless we head toss to the head, no? And with a pyramid, like two flurries already, sometimes it's not so easy to play, yeah? To, to get out of our hand. And we still need to just draw into eruption, otherwise we don't deal that much damage. And the third, third flurry is here to maybe stop us from drawing into the eruption. And two is enough, right? Two flurries is enough with the shuriken. We deal with damage like, more than fast enough already. Yeah, yeah, two is enough, two is enough. A tiny chest. Yeah, into Kursky, yes. Already see it happening. Like this because uh, I don't want to have to spend a potion here. And if we see, you know, like um, this. <laughs> Is that a block plan? Is that with the gambling chip pyramid, you just have apparitions and then you, uh, you know, you hit the heart and bomb, 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 it's dead. Your apparition first cycle, you hit with shuriken and it dies before it attacks you again. Right now we lose some instant HP, some, some uh, 21 current HP, but we have gambling chip and smoke bomb. And we have the meditator to pull back the operation that we discard on turn 1 against the act 4, for example. Okay, let's cross here. Let's cross here. We are like chilling. Probably. Uh, Aphos. Draw. One, two, three. 
then yeah, flurry operation defense yeah. So we have a full block this fight next turn as well, and then we run to eruption and this thing is dead. Good talk. And I do not need to play this upgrade the third operation because it's dead next turn. So I can defend block for twin to meditate back to eruption and then yeah, it dies. Uh what would it be like? Okay, fine. Anyhow, the third flurry you can see right here already is uh over it does not even get pulled back. No potion. Point chance right now is is eighty <laughs> percent. Guys, this is a no potion run over. We have like freaking a dead sozo. What's going on? Close the neck for our mental fortress. You know, rush down and uh, what else do we take? Fortress plus for sure. Yeah, rush down plus for sure. What else do we take? Ivana? Not really. Foresight? Not really. I mean, maybe Foresight now, but probably not. Apparitions. We need to draw Apparitions early and then we just, like, go in. Peeing this now... It's also a tiny bit weird because I do want to upgrade Fortress and rush down. We see them and um, they conflict with the Apparition upgrade. And scroll upgrade is already made. We need one upgrade for this and probably two or three upgrade for these. The only problem with this is sometimes I have like some curse key garbage into, you know, force curse, but we do have free path things I can remove. So maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, of course we fight elite. Also, without the operation, this fight is not so simple to block. Yeah, and suddenly now we play one card and we full block. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? History... run history plus. Relic stats also give you a little bit more... Um, a tiny bit more information in the history screen. But mostly it's just run history plus. I run resume as well, but that's not giving you... Um, it basically just gives you the ability to replay the run. Do I take 3 or not? Not thinking this 3 is... A bit greedy, I would say. You know, no need, no need, no need. I target right so that I don't get freaking entangled next turn. Like the wounds never matter. We have way too much damage. Like you see how much damage we have against Moon Stopping, right? In one deck cycle, we deal, I don't even know, 250. And these guys do not have 250 HP. And this fight, Bowling Bash even goes triple. Yeah, I should not take, uh, I should not do the, the thing. Eruption cut and then see, yeah? I still hit this guy because Entangle is the most annoying thing here. Okay, flurry is fine. We can take two with a miracle now, but I just take one extra. It's okay. You know, entangling uh, vulnerable does not matter. Vulnerable actually does not matter. How is this then? No bowling bash, but. Also, there's like no vulnerable. This is uh, 38 and then we have 3 strength, so this would be 7, it doesn't kill. But we can of course play apparition and this thing's dead. And in the middle is alone, yeah, okay, that's fine. Take one more, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I don't need to play this now, so I won't. We take 5 damage, yes. Operation doing uh, good work. It's a bowling bash. And we can in the piece empty body here. 8 now is lethal. Big body. Uh, this is our smoke bomb. Yeah, this is now our smoke bomb, and it also helps us block the heart. Very, very good. Smooth stone into third eye plus. And also take the just lucky plus. Uh, zero cost attack, proccing shuriken. We know kunai is not here, but at the same time, we can scry away. It's quite three less though. 
one energy for strike three basically yeah six block one energy strike three so it's kind of like we are picking a third eye on top of this but uh, this is an attack which you know attack is great when we are stuck on three energy here no guarantee we even see the fourth so maybe the just lucky is stronger Because the uh, half at the moment, unless we see the main fortress and then the run uh, once again becomes a trivial. Most likely, what is happening in the hard fight is that we, yeah, we just kill it in five turns. <laughs> we operation first cycle, and then by turn five, and uh, it attacks like the first time in the second cycle, it's dead. Or we block that and we kill on turn six. So uh, something like this is pretty cool. I would like a tantrum, I think. So now we can toss a smoke bomb away, yeah? I know I paid to go for it. But uh, we have got... Mm, we have successfully gotten past two elites without the fire to rest. Now we cash into the prize. Oh, we can keep this uh, smoke bomb for Act 3 insurance and then just take the fear pot. But yeah, 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 exactly. Like, potentially fear pot is even for the heart because opening turns we don't have shuriken strength yet and then this can max out and then after we have shuriken strength this runs out but then we still max out either way so toss smoke bomb tech fairy or keep the smoke bomb like three insurance or even immediately here into some snake or garbage or something a snake or with gambling chip is probably not uh, that bad right i mean i hope it's not that bad it's probably not that bad Run to apps right now, I don't really mind. Let's do this. I mean, a two app is a little bit more annoying if I don't, also don't draw into the flurry, but it's probably also still fine. Bowling bash. Last whip. Actually, wait, this six damage, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I actually don't know what I'm doing. I mean, it doesn't take damage if I play this, so, but it, I hope. Okay, we have our push, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I counted like one extra energy for like, some reason. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Garbage. Up with scroll first. We do not go to this shop, yeah. Shop is only remove 100. Oh, we went to the shop because there's an upgrade power. Otherwise, we can still remove. Hmm. Cannot buy mirror, but I guess we don't care. Maybe upgraded power is good. Otherwise, it removes 100, right? We have only gone to. Actually, no, we have gone to one shop and act one. Then we remove there, well, we bought Vazra. No, I did not. Yeah, I bought Vazra, empty fist, empty body. And then this is the first shop we remove in. So remove right now is 100. Yeah, okay. That is definitely not it. Uh, this would be nice with the pellets. So we could have... Pay it 500 go 460 go or something to get an, an ri a ridiculous block engine. Okay, here we just remove. Uh, defend complete garbo now? Or... No, seriously, so this card is like pissing me off. And sometimes we see P box out of this icon or something. And this is also smooth stone defend. And yeah, this card is actually just pissing me off. Like, please get out. Hello, bro. Uh, Monka, don't do that. Okay. Blue stone is also pretty cool, by the way, yeah. 
just to even just to block the uh, cheap um, when speed of death or something if we don't see or uh, talk to the hand like what's a plus well that uh, tells me i do not actually need to play something to block on the turn where i play apparition but um not exactly the power I want. We do have access a lot of calm, no? Three calm sources. So usually we can be in calm, and it helps a little bit here. Ah, how bad is this? It's probably not that bad. I went one up. I don't know how many ups I would upgrade because every single up upgrade is minus one relic, but at least one. This can toss away, keep this. Yeah, Sus Whip is okay. Uh so empty body meditate. I could have do could have done this, but this is already full block, yeah. Empty body meditate. Get that, get this. A small sash wheel. We split it soon, by the way. It actually will be split soon. Because Shuriken on this character is pretty stupid. You can split it right now, everyone. Probably not a good idea, though. Two hundred and twenty-eight. So the thorns will split him in like three attacks or something. But we can wait until we draw into the next uh, eruption. A hand space. Can play strike flurry flurry here without problem. And he was twenty-nine damage. So it's just two twenty-six, and then two attacks with thorn two twenty, and then everything's good. One more strength and hand space. Play the defense, sure. Nothing. Don't really care. Uh, just do nothing for now. No? I don't think we would shuffle. Like, he gains armor this turn, he attacks this turn. Next time we draw into eruption and he's dead. A 20 below, below. The only thing that split exactly at half is uh, is the slam family. It's like every single slam split at exactly half. Time eater and the chain split at below. So it's, this is 219 is split and the time eater is also 2, 239. Eruption is the top cut, so we can do whatever. I uh, just play the Vigilance here and turn. I guess I can get Shuriken for free. Let's get Shuriken for free. Meditate back two cards and I have eight. And then ten. Now if I have ten, I don't draw Eruption top deck, so let's just do this instead. And then we go in next turn. And then it's dead. How much damage do you think we are going to do this turn, guys? How much damage do you think we are going to do this turn? We are out of wrath now, yeah? Yeah, we are no longer in wrath. <laughs> but is that 1 HP? That's pretty good. I said learn, please. No, okay. Uh, with the Shuriken, we don't need the Wish. With the Apparitions, we can have the Blasphemy. If you want to do so for some unknown reason. This is Blasphemy plus because we have Pyramid, so it retains. The Dust X is a little bit strange with the Scroll. Yeah, the Dust X is a little bit strange with the scroll, and we don't actually have active draw besides the one scroll. I mean, cut through fate is a thing, but it's not cut and positive. And this inner piece usually is just being used to switch to calm, you know, to keep flurrying. Uh, if we break on energy, then 
honestly, maybe Blasphemy is even a better thing to use than the Dust X. I said we need two operations in hand for the Blasphemy to work though. Which is not, uh, yeah, it doesn't happen that often with our active draw. Not really, right? If I have a little bit more draw, this thing's actually quite strong. I think this is better than this if we actually can draw, yeah? but we cannot. Right now we cannot. And yeah, the wish is just not needed. I, if I had 2 energy to spend on the wish, I would... Uh, you know, when... Instead of spending 2 energy on the wish, you spend 3 energy on stand swap. And you gain, uh, you know, three, more than 3 strength for the Shuriken Double Flurry. Going too fast, you're unlucky for you then. Uh, this is either those eggs or skip, yeah? But my my first feeling is that I should skip this, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, my, my first very first feeling is that I should just skip this. We move right now to 125, you can still play, even if you see some cursey garbage. It turns a good uh, one or two. Absolutely one or two. I mean, you see what happened in the chamber, and you tell me like which turn is bad. Because if we do not draw into some operations in opening turns, we take damage, yeah? On like turn 4 or 5 or something, suddenly we deal like 200 plus per turn. Energy pot over fear pot. Good. Could see it. Energy over fear. Energy is also kind of like a damage potion. Especially on the scroll turn. And you can play, you, you can slam your operations and still deal damage on the same turn as well, more frequent. Yeah, probably good, right? Every we still keep. Okay, you can take energy or you can take the P-Box. P-Box for 6, no energy though. On the other hand, Philostone energy is not so problematic. Ah, uh, this can give us upgraded powers. Yeah, like 6 establishment plus, and suddenly turn 1 we draw all of that. But we can gambling chip all of them away. <laughs> hmm. And yes, this is 6 draws for Mando Fortress. Rush now, if we are on 3 energy, then it's no longer as strong. But you know, like more tantrums, it can also give us brick. And all I strike is a defender, so, so cool with the like smooth stone defend, but who cares. And the final stone is basically a lot more pressure to draw operation. Because because you, you I see one big problem with this final stone, yeah? Like one actually very big problem. Is that right now in the hard fight, even if you don't draw operation in the first cycle, with 31, 36 HP or whatever, you can just take the multi hit to your face if you roll the multi hit first. And then you take the big hit to your face with the fairy. And you don't even need to use a single operation to block first cycle. Now suddenly with the Philo Stone you can no longer do that because the multi hit first will kill you. And now you use the fairy on the multi hit on turn two, and now here comes the turn three operation is not in hand you're dead. Hmm. A senior name with a sub and uh, nineteen months special lord. Is I transform six with frozen egg? How bad is it? Some tantrum, any calm. Calm is also energy, yeah. Can also give us a dust X. Yeah, like how bad is it? Upgrade powers, and even if it's innate powers, like the freaking uh, uh, battle hymns or whatever, you can also discard all of them away with a with a gambling chip. Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> zero power, zero block. Okay, this is a little bit of block, but it's not even. Yeah, there's no wood card here. There's actually no wood card here. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Well, that was quite sad, it was a boss rally. Uh, I do not want to go to shop, I want to go to fire. So I guess we do go to one shop. Normality is here, probably not happening. We can still remove here, we cannot buy relic most likely unless this is gold. 
but we can buy always buy power or at least a remove and then fire number one into elite into fire number two into elite into sure so we do two elites and then two fire this act uh can upgrade two more operations because we are freaking three energy now and apparently this is always working even hot yeah it's like something like hot it would be good tension would be great uh talk to the hand would be amazing and then even something like warlock would be like pretty sick but instead like we get like six garbage so we pop tiny chase probably yes right like question mark number one here question mark number two here and yes question mark number three here so we do pop tiny chest so we can choose which relic to get i mean i think the part is fairly clear to so just do that here unless they tell me starting here is better somehow like this question mark is um stronger than this question mark for some reason i guess if you see a shop here three percent then this shop will be slightly better than this shop because if you roll like less than 12 gold here and then also roll a three percent shop then you cannot remove but this shop is always here so that doesn't even apply what would need to happen for this shop to be better uh for for this question mark to be worse than this question mark Hmm. Unless you tell me we somehow take pyramid normalities here and go to two shop, yeah, but I don't. Uh, I very much doubt you because if we have no normality in hand, you cannot get rid of it. Number one, and then we have no damage as well because flurry cannot be played. Normalities, yeah, we are not taking normalities. <laughs> there is no way in hell we're taking normalities here, so uh, that doesn't really apply. Uh, I guess this if we somehow get forced curse, yeah, like the, uh, you know, some match and keep, then it's one less fight with the curse. That's about it. But it's not like getting to to this question mark early is giving you something extra. It's just like some, for example, ray ray to get into prayer wheel. This player. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sprinting to your message history. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, fine. You are, you're safe for now. <laughs> you're safe for now. Hey, uh, take, uh, this is only like red red into some prayer wheel or something. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't make a difference. And this is usually better because you have more information. Oh, good thing we have operations, otherwise, uh, I don't know how we deal with these spikers. Like, actually, though, how do we deal with spikers with our operations? <laughs> Guys, how? And kill this at least. Unfortunately, being attacked, so I cannot really use this 9 block on the thing, but we can. Um... I should not kill this guy. Actually, I should not actually kill this guy because otherwise can have, I don't have a target to play Eruption on. So I should flurry this and then meditate back these two. And next time I can Eruption, start the turn Eruption on this. But like, why do I do that? The light water is already almost locking. I can also see it's just simmering fury and then scroll. Okay, if apparition is here, then we can go. We can go like crazy this turn a little bit. And by crazy, I mean we play three attacks. The body is fine. We can play more attacks after this. Uh, more operations. Unfortunately, in order to block, we need to exit, but maybe that's fine. Because we have the. Look at this combo. Look at this combo that we have right here. The amazing combo. Holy. Yeah, you see that? And now we kill them both. Ah! Okay, half of our problems are solved, yeah? I'm telling you. 
The other half is still here, but like half of them is sold because now we can suddenly play flurries for free in the hard fight. Is that you? Uh... Okay, if you want to want to get banned, I can give you a ban. And also, do not appear, do not bother to ban appeal yeah? because it, that will not happen. <laughs> You want to be bad? Okay, go ahead. I don't mind. But here, suddenly now, our plan of rushing the heart is a lot easier because you no longer take beat of death to the flurries after you play the talk. The Darklings. That's probably okay. Operation is in hand. What do I do here then? Just uh, go in. Yeah, probably just go in. Like simmering into meditator, probably. Something like this. No, 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 it's for this turn. It's not for last turn, it's for this turn. No, this turn. <laughs> you tell me whether this turn is more than 10 damage or not. Is that 10 damage? I think that's more than 10 damage. I think that's also more than 10 damage. Uh, I just pray in the piece, yeah? And then it always, we always have the thing. Okay, I don't know about that though. Because maybe the energy potion is just stronger. <laughs> energy potion is just stronger, right? Yeah, yeah, it has to be stronger. Like, we don't have... Um... Basically, if the if there's a fight that we bottom deck, there's a straw and all the apparitions, then we need to be able to have energy to play freaking third eye in the piece and we're able to draw. Even something like the prey. And then uh, after our first fairy is bridged through, the second fairy is also very frail because we revive on like 10 HP. I just not. Oh, it is a uh, red relic, and now he gives me a prayer wheel one, and I lose one card. And of course, we fire. Okay, this hand probably says that the fight is over, so good for us. Play two apps right now and just crawl. Yeah, seems good. Okay, three apps then. <laughs> uh, if three apps already in hand, I think I just play just lucky block two and then simmering fury and we go next turn. Playing this, sure. Lucky here. Yeah, more operations, uh, uh, more flurries for us. Which means that this empty phase right now pulls two back. Yeah, this guy is almost dead. We don't want to actually kill him, yeah? Because uh, this is here for the bowling match next turn. I should third eye actually to get into my eruption guarantee because I do pull back two flurries right now, so this fight is done. Cut and just lucky. Still intangible next turn. Always have eruption draw top deck. And fight's over. Okay, that's not prayer wheel, so it's fine. Here no evil plus. I want like a tantrum, guys. <laughs> I think I would like attention. There's still chaos right here. Sometimes I've got saves of life because it's freaking operations when we don't have operations. Uh, other times it's meditate. Meditate would be quite bad. Yeah, if it plays meditate, it would be like quite freaking bad. 
if we are, the turn is already bad enough to potion and then it plays meditate like we just get destroyed and i always need to think about that case on the other hand we can always as game away even six on turn one because i still had the miracle so turn one we reach like 12 cards out of these i need to bottleneck all four and even then we don't die immediately on energy yeah it's also freaking random i don't like random uh probably just play these immediately to block next turn and then we with the ginger it should die in like three or four turns from here like an operation still good still very very good i can meditate now to get energy back uh, let me even meditate the Simmering Fury, which is probably good. I don't care about like water, let's just get the flurry. <laughs> so that I don't overdraw. Now we never know what this guy is actually doing, whether he's competent or not. And that's okay. Next time we do have Simmering Fury, but there's the... Yeah, already the Inner Peace top deck, so I cannot really take damage. Yeah, we still don't know whether it's actually competent or not. I don't need to know, it's dead. I definitely would like another rust sauce. Yeah, I definitely would like another rust sauce. Play that for fun. Master Reality Plus upgraded to make uh, Inside Plus into our deck. <laughs> if we have the Nurse X Machina, it would also create Miracle Plus, but we don't have that. Probably not. And shop now, yeah, because I want fires. And we do have gold to spend here as well. That's not mental fortress. But uh, is this good? Actually, the Deva form plus. It's also a freaking lesson learned, yeah. It's a bit late because we still. Yeah, it, it's a bit late though. And it costs a uh, remove. On the other hand, if I buy Deva form, I can remove. <laughs> Freaking Deva form, man. Do we have problem in actually boss Gauntlet? That's basically it. Because if we do not, then this Deva form does effectively nothing. And we do have problem in actually boss Gauntlet, then Deva form is maybe something to consider, especially in like Dodin Rekka or something. Uh, because we can store three turns of apparition, yeah? And then after three turns, the Deva forms are positive every single turn afterwards. You don't really have active draw to use the energy that well, though, so I don't know. And we did add, like, if you know, which is another energy card into our deck. Pretty suspicious, right? Yeah, pretty suspicious, no? Maybe just remove. And also buy secret technique to get the uh, apparition or straw in hand immediately, but let's just remove a card. The worst card in this deck right now. What is it actually? Is it the Wraith of Flame or is it the Sands? It's one of these two. The Prey is better than these. The Prey is better than these two. Wraith of Flame sometimes still can play with like Bowling Bash in Spear and Shield. And when the Sands is discounted, we only have flurries or deal damage like crazy. We don't need the Sands. So it's just the Sands. Right, better it uh, skill damage with this and it also if you have excess energy in one turn but no draw you can just play this and then suddenly you have like, maybe a burst draw for another turn this is kind of like an ice cream in a sense a mini ice cream this is just nothing but this sometimes can still play with the bowling bash in like for at least or something i don't know yeah i just remove right if i remove I can buy panic button but do i want to buy panic button i don't think so 
Why do I not think so? The panic button? But isn't panic button super sick here? Oh, it's, it's panic button. Isn't panic button super sick here? Oh, we cannot afford it. Okay, fine. <laughs> I thought we had one gold left over, but yeah, we don't. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Potions ever? Uh, not really, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, no potions. So, this upgrade is what? Second app? I don't think we are digging, guys. Like, this shovel is probably going to rot in our relic bar because we upgrade one more operation then we upgrade talk to the hand and maybe even upgrade a third operation entering act 4. this upgrade should be operation before talk because we still have more than enough damage during three operation turns to kill the thing to, to kill whatever we are facing facing next floor Yeah, like you have the bowling bash against this and your operations here. I can actually not play an operation on turn 1 here. I thought this operation away and meditate it back, yeah, but uh, we don't have lethal on this yet. So probably just, just play this and play this next turn. Maybe take 2 damage, depending. It looks like we don't take 2 damage, that's fine. Can spend the energy now because otherwise I overdraw by one card. Because if I keep these in hand and meditate two cards back, the flurry, let's say I meditate these two back. Otherwise, I need to meditate the flurry plus one. One flurry need to be on with two cards, otherwise, my hand has six and the next one I only draw four. If I use this right now, then we don't need to deal with that. I may just get the... Uh, yeah, I don't care about Sash Whip, right? So we just get Flurry Antibody back over. And then have flexibility with energy next turn. Sometimes I can even kill with the Bowling Bass too. Not sure. The really one thing on Russell's tension would be by far the best. <laughs> by far. Because we go eat on the Raptor, yeah? We don't care about the minions. Is operation sure play this now holy 90 damage what have brilliance first but yeah she's still dead so i don't really need to care fasting plus with the pellets we did not buy this is the worst second last source we can get is it still good enough it's the absolute ghost one because uh, we have pyramid already. Everything else better. Indignation is vulnerable, reusable. I guess second sim ring fury would also be quite bad. Yeah, yeah, true. So this would be the second ghost. Fasting Deva form. Yeah, you spend one turn on Deva form, then you spend the next turn on the fasting, and then on turn three you get to do something. But uh, what if you just spend your six energy on something in the previous two turns and things are dead? <laughs> what if? Is this crescendo still good? I kind of don't want it. Yeah, probably not, right? Upgrade a card. Okay. Upgrade a card could be a relic, yeah, by the way, because maybe it allows us to dig once. Talk first instead of the third app for now. Ooh, more upgrades. And we have an app. We have no base cards here, so what can this hit? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, uh, a lot of bricks, right? We just key this, yeah? And then take this chest. Yeah, we key this and then take this chest. And of course, this part is better than this part. Like, there's nothing to speak for skipping the, the elite. We'll take one damage here, but one is non because we have the thing. We don't even take one damage. And here is fine. Ah, simmering is good. 
uh, reason to meditate. If I don't meditate, two flurries, I don't have both of them in hand for next turn, though. So maybe just meditate two flurries. Holy Zizu. Eruptions here. So I do this. That's quite a lot of damage, yes. That's quite a lot of damage. One, yeah, we still have two apps. The boot. Yeah, garbage. And what are you? Oh, big chest. Ah, oh, mango. I think that's better than Warpin. <laughs> just a feeling, but I think that is slightly better than the Warpin that we just kill. Could be wrong, though, but I think it's better. Recall first, because if we dig right now, we can dig up some garbage. Like, uh, your prayer wheel right now can still be gotten and then suddenly like, everything sucks uh more bang honestly more digging up a more bang is not even that bad right now but we can already buy shop or, or a common relic or remove in act four yeah let's recall with the hp up they're pretty good and the uh, thing is very convenient. The blood guy was very convenient because I can just take the cheap damage and be fine. On the other hand, we can also just block. So what's this? I mean, we just enter Wrath or what? Sure. Ah, Boating Bash next turn. And we cannot be Wiccan, so uh, I think she's dead, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think she's dead. Because we have this Rift of Flare Boating Bash mega combo coming in, yeah, with three strength into Wrath. And we are not Wiccan, so how much damage is this? 90. <laughs> But also, that's why the Rhythm Flame is still around, you know? Because maybe you can do something like that in the Spear and Shield and it does something. We don't need another Piano Evil. Yeah, nice for the neck, by the way. The upgraded powers we have picked up since then is one light water. Very cool. Those two, unless you tell me, is prostrate somehow with this uh, Brilliant and Prey. But you need two deck cycle to enter Divinity. That's way too slow. Not in any upgrade. Already no. Ah, bowling mask is back. I don't spend the thing now, right? I do overdraw one card though. Maybe I do spend the thing. I might do spend the thing. Well, easy win. Not so sure yet. We are strong. I think we are very strong, but this deck can. Uh, it has one very, very uh, obvious problem. Is that we don't really enter Rattle very consistently, but other than that, we have basically everything else. We have a ton of damage, we have Pyramid for consistency, after a couple of turns we have Apparition for Fat Note and also Letter Block. We have HP with Fairy Insurance, we have Talk to the Hand, Mirror Death Solution. I guess we don't have that much active card draw as a thing, so opening turns can be a little bit weak if Eruption is uh, bottom deck. We don't deal damage that fast during Apparition's turn and then maybe bad things can happen.
Is it you probably a bit of both because I haven't been streaming as often. It's not daily like uh, several months ago. I stream like once every two days or something. The spiker. Hmm. I think Simmering Fury against the Spike Rose is probably fine. Right? And we have apps. Of course, we have apps. Simmering now. Honestly, should enter. Should enter Calm so I get energy this turn and we go in. It keeps giving me fairy. Empty mind versus warlock versus omniscience. Omniscience, unfortunately, we don't have energy to play. It is omniscience apparition, but uh, one time with energy pot. Ah, one time with energy pot. Ah, omniscience. Review most recent runs between stream and cloud. Request this run. Last squad run. If there's something to review, then sure. Otherwise, I, I don't. I just prepare for the next run. Yeah, yeah, second man, uh, second fairy is a bit better now with mango, but I think this is just stronger. Especially if we take this card, yeah, because right now I, I think I might. Like, isn't, don't, don't we have a like, super sick target? So any operation plus one intangible. So it solves one cycle like, immediately and also means that we don't break draws. Talk to the hand immediately means that we block a uh, mega positive against the heart. And like, like what, so I guess a little bit, but not really. Oh, just not nah nah fortress plus you just win if you if you have a fortress plus take empty bind you win like, very easily <laughs> so something like fortress to omniscience is not really a question it's not a consideration because that guy is already winning on the other hand this here's this the empty bind like, active draw can be upgraded even yeah so maybe we're not digging and we have cam source number one two Three, four, four calm sources. At the same time, we also have two exits. So, so how strong is this empty mine to green? It's minus on relic also. The omniscience would also be upgraded though if we take omission. It needs to be green too. Otherwise, the only way to play it would be either the miracle or the energy pod. And maybe sometimes we need to spend both of those in Spear and Shield and suddenly we enter the heart, we have a curse in our hand forever. Like, four cost omniscience cannot be played. Sometimes can be played because you can exit calm into the thing and you have omniscience, but it's unlikely. I think I do take the omni though. We can still dig here, yeah? we can still dig now. And then upgrade the omni in like four or something. But maybe I just want to upgrade Omni and then upgrade the third app. But Ghost Omniscience is one remove. That would be quite better if that is the, what is happening. Is that we draw all the good cards top deck and then uh, Omniscience is bottom deck and then we remove one. But then it means that we draw all the good cards top deck. So how bad is it? <laughs> like, you know, we have suddenly have three top decks operation with the pyramid. And we also totally took the hand to not take me the death damage. Like, how bad is that? It cannot be that bad, right? But if I take omniscience, I have to keep this pot, yeah? And I think it's the upgrade immediately. Ah, uh, Shovel is so sad, guys. Omniscience is a little bit extra with a gambling chip as well, but probably not mattering so much. Is this fight okay, actually? Now that I think about it, is this fight actually okay? <laughs> I hope it's okay. I sure hope this guy is actually okay for us. Yeah? We can hold talk for the second half, but I think we just do talk first half and then second half we burst it instantly with one operation left in hand over to block the big hit. I think I honestly I should take this damage. We take 11 here and save all the operation. <laughs> yeah, 
I, I should just do that actually. Looking at this fight, I'm a little bit scared. Now that I actually see what is happening. This apparition will be used, and then Simmering will be used, and Inner Peace can be used. Here, will this. Okay, this apparition next turn is happening. Uh, Simmering, and then we can meditate. I can meditate back the Simmering, or I can just play the Inner Peace. The Inner Peace is exit in hand, and this can pull something else back. I can Miracle Light Water now, and then meditate, because I get rid of the card in hand, I don't overdraw. Light water is minus one here on the multi hits, but every other hit is uh, positive, it's plus five. Yeah, sure. And get back the cut and maybe the simmering again. Probably. Okay, here's Omni. And if only it's drawn like this, it's empty, yeah? so we can use it to do a remove in the next deck cycle, or like even something like prayer or whatever. But what are we doing this turn? And we bought the deck both flurries of no shuriken right now either. Okay, one is here. We can cut. Should I kill the minions at all? I think I should. I, I should, I should. this then uh, if you know, we will kill this right here corruption here Hurry. in the PC ring yeah but I don't play this flurry I want to both flurries in hand to get the shuffle back hello Mer. Uh, and yeah, with the Sash Swim and the Light Water, we should be fine until the next multi, but the next multi we should kill it, no? Yeah, I think that is the, the case. Yeah, by the next multi, we should be able to kill this. I can play Omniscience right now even on something, I don't know what. I... I don't know. <laughs> even Brilliance, yeah? yeah? Playing on the Brilliance, remove all the bowling bars. Playing on the attack, remove a bad attack from deck, and also get stricken this turn because I'm playing in the piece at the end with full block with like what to talk to the hand. Yeah, like why not, right? The brilliance can scale up a little bit with this. I don't even know when we actually play prey, you know, but sure, some, maybe at some point it can happen. Or I can just double prey, not get a stricken, but then we get two inside at the same of score as in hand, so probably not. Yeah, let's just get the bowling bash out of this deck. Yeah, yeah. And store one flurry in hand. So we, we overdraw, but we get more shuriken. Probably it's stupid, honestly. Then times four should be able to block this easily with what we currently have still. But this is, uh, yeah. This is probably fine. Huh? Exhaust the freaking ascendance bin now. Yes, we can stack. Get more, we can stack. Full block. Play prey. Okay, prey. Praying. Prey been played once yet? Yes. Just now. I see you back and feeling better. Thank you. Definitely feeling a lot better than like last month for sure. I think. Uh, I mean, I said this like maybe a week ago or something, which turned out to be not true, but uh, by now, maybe I'm back to normal. Like right now. Uh, we just heal it now. We, we phase it right now, and then... Um, yeah, I push it next turn, and then it's dead. Yeah? Probably what's happening. We can also just not phase it right now. <laughs> Like one more turn of shuriken and then phase it, but phasing now is okay too. Actually, it doesn't even get phase here, unless I spend the inside. Ah, uh, but phasing now is like so good though. We have simmering. 
immediately we can meditate back the eruption so that's two turns of wrath like with the apparition full block and it's just dead ah, okay fine whatever and yeah that's brilliance phase now and then we meditate back the eruption double flurry uh pull into our hand so we can pull another attack, maybe even cut to fit or in a piece. I'll probably just get the cut over. I'll probably just get the cut. And now we kill it pretty easy. Yeah, I even made it hit top deck, it's like Omega Death. Scroll is not even play yet. And I don't even know whether we it sees the second turn, yeah, Maybe because it's probably dead right now. <laughs> it's fine, probably fine. I mean, even if we take a bit of chip, we don't like die or anything. And uh, can toss the empty body away? Okay, sure. Okay, scroll is here though. Uh, was a little bit afraid for a second. Maybe I should still be afraid because this is not full block. <laughs> uh, next turn is okay now. Let's get a shuriken, right? And we can meditate back the eruption as well. Eruption is a piece. Next turn, operation guarantee. If I should be kind of fine from here. And this omniscience really, uh, you know, being a brick. Yeah? This guys can also happen that we bottom like every single cut, including omniscience, and then it gets a little bit dangerous. But hopefully, it's fine. So what do I do? I guess I just do damage. I guess I just do damage. Uh, I want to play Seam Ring. I want to play Exit. Like this should be fear no evil and so i can spend one more energy on something else there's already full blocks with light water yeah and we have another shuriken stack oh really <laughs> okay maybe omniscient just garbo guys maybe i'm not so sure but maybe it is uh, yeah, on the other hand, the risk of flame bowling match combo is still going strong, no? But everything favors this goddess. Do this now. Yeah, and it's dead. Can Omni is something random? I don't even know what. Honestly, Omni third eye is not so not so stupid here. Omni Simmering Fury is also kind of fine. Yeah, Omni Simmering right now is actually also kind of fine. Let's just do that. No relic to set up, so we just kill it. Eh? Flurry is here. Yeah, let's play up. It's fine. Auto hand sucks. But yeah, this thing is like super dead. So we can upgrade the final up or the last fire, or we can dig. We can right choice. I don't know about that. I mean, uh, I saw that. Uh, I see that we are taking two damage and to react four here with the shuriken. You think we take eighty damage with the kunai instead? Because I have a feeling that if we took the kunai, we would take zero. You know, in the boss gauntlet. 
Also, of course, we did see apparitions. If we did not see apparitions, uh, that would be this record would be a slightly fishier than what it currently is doing. So I've waited the third app to make sure we don't low roll in exactly the hard fight. Oh, day. Okay, fine. No low roll. <laughs> Really, a bag of prep, for example, would be pretty cool. It's a med kit, which is a trash. On the other hand, we can get energy relic number one, energy relic number two, or remove. And remove like Rift of Flame. Yeah, that's like the only card to remove here, kind of like this one. Medkit is eventually two removes, but not uh, immediately. Panic button is back, but also, yeah, it's not better than these now. <laughs> Secret technique for omniscience is something as well. Secret technique is actually the, the best anti brick here for the opening turns. Like, when you must draw operation, the secret technique will always draw you something good. It's just that afterwards we don't have the remove, but we care about remove that much. It's like one hand spray with the wound and then uh, yeah, the burns being redrawn, but do I care? Yeah, I probably don't care. I just buy the technique and move on. It also spends the most amount of gold, so it must mean it's correct. Yeah, 7 gold, all done. So if we flawless this fight... Um, okay, I would like to flawless this fight, please. <laughs> Like keeping a piece in hand or not, that's pretty scary. Like we have several calm and still miracle. Probably. Ah! That takes damage though. Yeah, that takes 3 damage, so we don't blood vial to full in the hard fight, but you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I just Omni apps right now and then relax, right? So we have like 4 turns with intangible, uh, 3 turns to block entire first cycle and then we have 1 operation in hand retain and nothing ever happens. And nothing bad ever happens. We take 3 damage and move on, fight's over. Now next time we can take a little bit more. Because uh, maybe I don't even draw into a single block card like this. We do block 3 but I'm facing another 6, so we take 3 more. Okay and then we move on, yes. The boot. Like water, yeah, garbage. The boot. This operation will need to be played next turn, so maybe do it now. I want to get Shuriken now. But yeah, I can play this now and then meditate back um, two cards. It will also pull back the double flurry, so I will overdraw back one unless I pull one flurry. I just pull one flurry. It's like flurry, seam ring, or something. Because I don't care about the light water, probably true. Ow! This one we're fine. Take a technique and pull scroll on every week one, so some third eye if we also want that, but why do we care about third eye? I probably need. Probably no reason. The boots. I just get the scroll, yeah? Yeah, this guy's dead. We missed one flurry like this, but I don't really care. <laughs> actually, we missed both flurries. Again, doesn't doesn't actually matter. The boots. Garbage. Uh, this potion is absolutely not strong in this potion, especially with omniscience in our deck. Let me move on. Ah, the omni! Ah, the omniscience! <laughs> 
And because we have the parry, I'm allowed to actually just secret technique. Uh, I'm allowed to just get talk to the hand up. And I do not need to, to Omni and up. I can uh, Omni talk to the hand immediately. In order to secure that, I have to not draw a single card because if I draw anything, then the uh, can be talked to the hand. Sounds a little bit weird, but these are also like, okay cards to store. So I just don't discard anything, yeah? Secret Technique, the uh, talk, and then double talk. And first cycle, we don't even need to draw a single up to survive because we have this fairy into weakness. With Orichalcum even. Okay, Orichalcum doesn't do anything because it's double talk. Okay, fine. <laughs> Ah, it's okay, it's okay. I guess you can Miracle... Should I put a Miracle first in order to get Sash Whip? But like, next turn Sash Whip is stronger, yeah? Not it first? Yeah, I don't care. If we have Philo Stone here, maybe we need to up? I don't know. You probably don't, actually. The base would be 3, right? So 3 is still 3, 45, yeah, yeah. You barely survive, and the next turn you just lose a fairy or something. But here we can store every single app, and then basically the fight is over. So yeah, that's a sweep. Lucky, okay, garbage, just cut. Into cut. Okay, garbage, just cut. Uh, second app is here, we can turn eye now. Draw is here. And as we point immediately to in a PC mirroring fury is possible. That's a bit of a waste though. Maybe I just do miracle and then in the piece uh, and the next time we eruption into scroll. Yeah yeah. Just do this. I mean, this turn you can play an operation for fun. Uh, I don't think we need operation to block this, no? I just won't. Yeah, 3 operation plus in hand, yeah? so there's no... I never any risk. And we basically max out without wrath. An eruption. It also pulls back double flurry here, which is very, very good. Uh, probably cut to shuffle through the garbage. Yeah, like I can, I can cut immediately through these two and then play the flurries after. We can stay in wrath, no problem. And it's like dead very soon. Oh, we can do this with proc more shuriken. Why not? Do that first and uh, for Sash I don't even know what it's for. I can pretend that this Sash Whip matters and here's an operation number one. Uh, cannot really already calcum. I guess whatever. Doesn't really matter. Take some meat of that is fine. Yeah, okay. So pray with a flame over. Hit me. We can fairy now. Yeah, fairy now is strictly better than playing apparition. Uh, or we can also full block maybe. This is probably full block. Unlucky. It's not full block, so if I play Simmering right now, I lose a fairy. But you know. Uh, or we can let the fairy be free and play apparition now. Ah, whatever. Fairy, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Ah, we let the fairy be free, right? otherwise it's like karma, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairy, fairy should be free. Fairy should be free. Be free, fairy. Yes, you haven't draw the void. Exit, get back the flurries. Play simmering. Play exhaust like water and then play meditate. Which will pull back the double flurry as well. And we get back like, I don't know, the eruption field wave or something. Doesn't matter. 
as a super dead. Now well, sub two, and I still I was still playing act one very carefully. Yeah, so sub two just means this one's overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> which you can see this one is overpowered uh once again another run with our mental fortress which is a 20 percent roll so the highlight of this run of course was the double 100 percent fortune chain in deck one at least that's something <laughs> otherwise not much else to talk about right it's like we see good cards we have freaking pyramid shuriken uh, vasra and then you know even though this p-box is like complete garbage it doesn't matter Ah yes, the potion chain deck one here went to 100% like, twice. Now it reads the fairy out of the spire. Wait, I'm district before I forget. I chose 4, but the thing is 11. Interesting already after P box? I'm not so sure about after P box. I mean maybe after P box was like on floor and then we see Toast of the Head in the Then we see Toast of the Head in like the second fight, right? Three or something. <laughs> like the moment I see Toast of the Head, no, I, I only know it. It's like the heart is freaking dead. If we make it to the heart with uh, enough resources then the heart can never win. Because flurries can be played and then we have like you see how much damage we have outside rather. If we never see Talk to the Hand, then maybe it becomes a little bit weird. But if that is the case, I would just, uh, you know, use the fairy to block me of death or something. We still probably can just kill it. The triple operation. Oh yeah, it's even the first fight, not even second fight. First fight. Uh, you, you see the difference between characters, yeah? It's like you have another character, like, having this act one. Your new bonus 100 go, you don't buy a potion here. And then you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fights, no potion. If you're playing like Defect or Silent, you're already freaking crying, you know? Maybe I can try to get away with, uh, with this. But you're playing Defect Silent, you cannot really fight Elise, yeah? Unless you have like Cell Repair on Defect or something. But here we have 100% potion chance, and what HP do we have? You're 66. <laughs> and now we want to do this fight. Uh, yeah, ninety percent, one hundred percent potion chance drops here. Weak pot, useless, and this like did not draw a potion again. But how much HP do we end the act with? Yeah, full, Wait, basically full, like half. <laughs> and then we see pyramid. <laughs> uh, the classic smoke bomb buy, and then into discuss smoke bomb couple of floors later. But that's after three elites. So this smoke bomb allows me to actually just fight these three elites without fear, and then there's no. Yeah, I mean, Act 2 is like free. Act 3 is also free. Act 4 is also free. A run? Probably not. Even though this run is very fast, I don't... Um, I just play it one per stream. Yeah, it's just a strong watcher run, basically. Another Bloom run was safe. Run like that is worth it for you. Act 1 more risky? Probably not. I mean, taking major risk before seeing the boss relic, yeah? Like, your deck needs to be like, extremely garbage for that to happen. Like your deck needs to be in an, a completely unplayable state without a P box to fix or something before you take a major risk of death in Act 1. Otherwise, I just see the boss relics and then usually it gives you a stronger boost. And for change your dark side, I mean, it's working. I am playing at basically 100% every single run here, so uh, it's working. If I play one per stream and my focus actually drops and I play like garbage, then uh, things are bad. But for now, I'm still playing well. Basically, when, when I start spewing when with one run per day, I think I will just play multiple runs per day. But not now. Especially not on uh, not on pretty uh, pretty big streak like this. It's 11. Okay. Yeah, to our stream short and sweet. And now we get out of here.
Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, as always. See you.